we kind of had the mindset that we have nothing to lose. Obviously, we were bat down 4-1 the game before, and we had a pretty uh, epic comeback to be able to stay on this series. So the guys came in a little looser, knowing that you know we could already be undone. So we know we're a streaky team. It's good sometimes, sometimes it's bad, but uh, we're hoping to put together a streak the right way this time. That was a tough goal, the, the first one. To be down with nothing in this building, it wasn't ideal, but the guys responded well. Now, you didn't really see the dip in the dressing room after the first period. Guys came out, and obviously we had a really good second period and poured it on. Garus maybe kept it in, but then Hoagie got it and made a real nice area pass to Mills, and Mills came in and just scored a filthy goal. And obviously the, the bench erupted. It was a huge goal for us. It, just with that goalie, when he gets hot, he's tough to break through. So I think to break the ice on him was a huge momentum lifter. When Bert put in that second one, it was a, a big boost. Guys kind of felt like, you know, maybe this is this is our game. We can keep going. It's, it was real tentative before then. And I think we really relaxed a little more even after going up uh, one goal. And we kept pouring it on too. Unfortunately, like we got another a third one before the period ended. And it was a D-zone face-off and it kind of scrambly. And I didn't see much because my back was turned. And all of a sudden I saw Mo chip it to double A. And it looked like the guy was maybe ahead of him or beside him, and then Double-A turned on the afterburners and it was he was gone and he did what Double-A does and put us up 3-1. We were really talking about not sitting back after the second period. We sat back a little with the lead here and they came on us and scored two goals quick. I think that was game two. So the mindset was to make sure we kept pouring it on, kept pouring it on and not to sit back and let them come to us. And I think we did a real good job of that. Burke got the fourth goal and you could kind of see them, their heads dip a little and we kind of took over the game from there on. I had the puck and they kind of started the flood over to the left side of the ice and I saw double A in the middle and I just kind of threw an area pass over there and double A had no idea where it was so I was screaming at him to look to look because he was kind of sitting there and luckily he snapped his head the right direction and you know he skated through everybody again. Uh, did the same move, didn't work this time and Bert put in the rebound. I broke up the puck and it went over to Gino and he kind of I think chipped it to Sproli and Sproli just made it. I'm the bit of pass. It, I was coming down the slot and I went through their D-man or forwards legs right to me. It was a great play. And just buried my head. <laughs> Luckily found on at five hole. <laughs> Bert's been amazing for us on playoffs. Uh, he's got a different level. He's one of those special hockey players that comes into the playoffs and just thrives. And I think that's the style of play too. I think the focus is keep doing what we're doing. Uh, we have to play desperate. It's an elimination game again. And we can't, just because we won 6-1 tonight means nothing. You know, we got to know that. We got to know. Every game we could be going home, so we've got to take that uh, mindset into the game and play like every shift's our last.